So yeah guys, I think I'm gonna retire from short course racing. Hello folks, welcome to Necros RC. Here are my racing buggies that I've been running in 2020, my new TLR 22 5.0 Elite and my Techno EB410. Tires, the new track, Electrosport RC Raceway, is running a clay track where it's actually really good, high quality clay. And uh, yeah, so the tires that I had been running previously on the older track at GFX Raceway, they don't really hook up at all. Previously at GFX Raceway, we used to run mini block, uh, like hole shots or double Ds. Those tended to work out very well. Those don't hook up at all at Electrosport RC Raceway. So I've been kind of scrounging around running some old tires Here's some barcodes. I've now raced these for three or so weeks and they're pretty much roasted through right now. These were not new tires to begin with, but I've pretty much destroyed them after two weeks of racing. And for my TLR 22, one of the downsides of running a TLR car is that the front wheel offset is different from every other two wheel drive buggy. So the only front wheels that fit a TLR 22 are officially from TLR 22. Now I have found a workaround for that. That's what I've got on the front of this car right now. These are Schumacher Cougar wheels. They're not exactly perfect, but they fit. So if you try and run uh, associated to front offset on your TLR22, they don't work at all. They bind up, the offset's wrong, the axle doesn't fit through them right. It's kind of weird. So the only non-official wheel I found that works on the TLR22 is a Schumacher Cougar rim. The whole point of this is that I had placed an order for new wheels and tires mid-January and it never arrived. That order got lost in the mail, unfortunately. So I'm still running on worn out or incorrect offset tires. The rears on my TLR22 are not even the right offset. I'm surprised they work at all. There's a really weird gap I've got going on here between the, uh, there's a gap I've got going on here between the nut and the wheel. It doesn't even seat properly, but they, they work. I actually won my B-Main with this setup last week. Amazingly, it handles very well for being not proper. Anyway, the point is, my order of proper wheels and tires still has not arrived. So I was kind of scrambling around thinking, what am I gonna do? I was mentioning in previous videos that I still don't have official good wheels and tires. I've opened up a claim for a missing package for that other order, but thankfully Razor RC reached out to me in the comment section of one of my other videos and offered me a bunch of clay wheels and tires. So his local track changed to carpet and he had all of his wheels and tires that were previously for his indoor clay track not really usable to him anymore so he offered if I paid shipping to get them to Canada for me and he's in California so you know shipping was not cheap it cost $50 US to get this box here but the point is super nice offer he didn't charge me at all for the tires I just had to cover shipping so let's go through the box and I'll show you what I got so he saved the day thank you Razor RC huge shout out to him go check out his channel he's also uh, an RC racer and shows a lot of inf good information about RC buggies uh, and some other bashers too. So let's just quickly go through the box here. I've got a set, these are all used tires, but they all seem to be in very good condition. So here's a set of dirt webs. These are for four wheel drive, I do believe. Oh, these are all rears. So that's a set of clay, J Concepts dirt webs. Great job cleaning these up, by the way. These either, these look never used, or if they were, they've been cleaned extremely well. So thank you. If these are not brand new, they are barely run. So maybe one run on them. Here we have a set of here we have a set of Avid satellite buggy wheels. Again, rears for a four-wheel drive or two-wheel drive. So here's the set that I needed the most and the ones that I'm most excited about. This is a set of space bars for two-wheel drive. So this is exactly what I had ordered in my A main order was a set of space bars and gold compound fronts. That's what a space bar looked like. And I did also order a, uh, a set of rear ellipses. Now the ellip ellipses I don't have, but this is also a set of rear space bars. These are J Concept space bars in gold clay compound, I do believe. Yeah, they say gold. They say left gold on the rim. It's also a good idea to mark your rims for uh, direction and for the type of car, because on dirt, the, the, the front edge wears down and you want to get it to have a really good leading edge. So thank you, Razor RC. Awesome job uh, getting these to me. So I'm gonna put these on my TLR22 buggy tonight and then race the space bars on the buggy. Well, there's a bunch more stuff in this box as well. We have two sets of dirt web fronts. These are just tires only, no inserts. So I'm not sure how that happened, but um, whatever, they're, they're useful. Set of dirt web fronts, no inserts.
And then the rest of the stuff in here is a set of short course. So we have a set of raw speed riptide short course tires. And raw speed riptides are and raw speed riptides are very much like a dirt web. And then the other set is actual dirt webs by J Concepts. So then here's the short course dirt webs. Actually, they are a little bit different. So these are the J Concepts dirt webs. And these are the raw speed riptides. So short course tires also for the new type of clay dirt. So that's it. So two full sets of short course wheels and tires, one full set of two wheel drive uh, tires, a bunch of four wheel drive rears, and then some random uh, two wheel drive fronts. So thank you, Razor RC. Awesome, much appreciated. So probably for racing tonight, I'll be putting a set of new rears on the four-wheel drive. I don't have a set of new fronts for the four-wheel drive. I'll have to buy some. And then the TLR22 is going to get this full nice set of space bars to run at. So all the future video will be uh, running the TLR on the space bars. You'll get a video next week about that. Next up is short course. Now, short course. Guys, I think I'm going to retire from short course. So this is my Techno SCT 410.3 short course 4x4 truck that I've had since about 2016 maybe. Um, I got it used and uh, this is an excellent short course truck. This is still Techno's top of the line best newest race truck. They, they never did update these with the buggies, they just kept it to be the .3 level and it's been perfectly great. This truck has actually won me uh, previous podium a first place finish in the 2018 series and it won me a second place finish in the 2019 series now normally I do not sell off my trophy winners but short course truck I've been doing it for so long that really I'm just I'm ready to move on and have some additional challenges and try some different classes someone reached out to me and asked me if they could buy this truck and so I reluctantly agreed oh this is now verbally sold it's gonna go basically as this is uh, with this whole power system the hobby wing power system the 2s lipo the savox servo it's gonna go as a ready to run truck ready to race this is what I was mentioning about the mini block tires we used to run at GFX Raceway. They work surprisingly well still, even on the short course. I think just because you have a higher contact patch. But So yeah, this is going to go with a few little parts that I had. One thing about Techno is that they are extremely strong. This thing never broke one single part on it. And out of the two plus years racing it, I never broke one single part. It's like sometimes a screw will get backed out here and there, but I never broke anything on it. It's unbelievable. So yeah, it's gonna go to a new home. It's gonna actually go to a young lad who's gonna race this in short course truck. Short course is an excellent class to get into racing with because the uh, the bodies, because the wheels are set inside the body so you can have a little bit more contact. Also, they tend to uh, roll back on their wheels. When you're upside down, they tend to roll back over onto the wheels again so you get marshaled less. Um, it's just a good starter class for sure. Handling wise, they don't really handle as well as any of the other classes. So what I've decided to do is sell my short course truck, but I really love truck racing. So we're going to replace it with this, a pre-built, excellent condition Techno ET410. This is their new 10th scale four wheel drive truggy. And I'm pretty excited to have this because this guy shares 90 plus percent of the parts with my Techno 410. And I actually, and it uses the same chassis as the buggy. It just has longer arms and it has big stadium truck tires on it. Stadium trucks have a sweet spot in my heart because this truck back here is a stadium truck that I started racing with. It was actually my second or my third truck, but that one is my most prize winning truck. Some of the trophies that are behind here, that truck won. So that's a 1994 Traxxas Pro Blue Eagle LS2. Extremely rare truck. They only made it one year back when Traxxas had a race team and that was built from a kit. So this is the equivalent of a modern day 2019 style stadium truck, but this one's a four wheel drive. So this is also kind of considered a mini truggy, which Techno started out with that class. And now there's also an X-Ray that competes with it. And I think there's gonna be some other brands that try and get on board this new 10 scale four wheel drive truggy stuff. Uh, stadium trucks are still mostly always two wheel drive, rear wheel drive. This one's a four wheel drive. Actually has pretty good support locally at my track. So I'm gonna build this out and race it. Uh, so selling the short course truck is going to give me the funds to get some of the electronics to build this guy out. So it needs motor, ESC, 
um, servo, all that stuff. So I'm going to kit it out with a bunch of race spec stuff. But this is a heavily upgraded Techno ET410. So it's got carbon shock towers. It has Exotech braces. Uh, it's got the carbon center mount, the carbon battery strap. It's got the Exotech rear block with weights. It's heavily modded out. So I'll show you this a bit more details in the future once I get it kitted out. It's really kind of an odd looking vehicle, but they kind of grow on you. And when I first saw them, I thought they were the most ridiculous looking thing ever. But now they've kind of grown on me. And once you drive one, man, they drive awesome because you've got these big marshmallow tires. And uh, and yeah, they handle awesome because it's a buggy, but wider. And, uh, and the extra contact patch really makes them a hoot to drive. So the other thing about this is that I just got these new these new short course tires. ET410 works with short course tires as well. It doesn't really look as nice as having the full stadium truck width, but uh, certainly it is allowed to run short course wheels and tires on your uh, on your four wheel drive truggy as well. So, going to get this built out in the future, and we'll see that in future videos. So that was a little bit of an update, just showing you what's going on, wheels and tires, status of my buggies, how we have to change tires per track as the clay has changed, and uh, and yeah, I still got to file that claim for my missing order, because now I'm also going to have to order some additional parts for this thing. Uh, this one's also on the block style tires that worked on our old track, not going to be ideal for the new one, although this one, I can run it like this, they're just going to wear down really fast and uh, and need to be replaced ASAP. So. Uh, offset for the wheels on the ET410 is you have to run associated offset wheels, which is a little bit different than the buggy. Uh, the buggy, you need TLR offset wheels, I believe. All right, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe. If you want to talk to me, leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Oh, I also got two bodies with this. So I've got a practice body and a nice body. Awesome. And they match my colors. The uh, the white, black, and red. All my other racers are white, black, and red. So thank you again to Razor RC for the package of tires. Hugely appreciated. That's gonna help me out a lot. I'm gonna go race with these tonight. Thanks, buddy.